After skipping a month, Nintendo is back with their monthly drop of a Nintendo 64 game for Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack subscribers. This month, we're getting Pilot Wing 64, which is also known as the other N64 launch game. Look, it's definitely cool that we're gonna get both launch games on the Switch, but is Pilot Wing 64 worth playing in 2022? To answer that question, I decided to flip through the pages of Electronic Gaming Monthly, Next Generation, Computer and Video Games, and more classic magazines to see what the critics said back when this game first came out. So go, grab your favorite parachute, because this is another high-flying episode of the Nintendo Switch Online Review Crew. I think it's fair to say that when the Nintendo 64 launched in the United States back in 1996, most of the hype centered around Super Mario 64, one of the best reviewed and most iconic launch games of all time. A game the next generation promptly called the greatest video game ever made. Of course, in Mario's Shadow was another launch game, Pilot Wing 64. Much like the Super NES original, this aerial minigame collection was seen as an elaborate tech demo that helped to show off the cool 3D tricks that the hot new 64-bit hardware was capable of. But is it a fun game? Let's go ahead and turn to the classic reviews to find out. Giving it an 8.4 out of 10, Electronic Gaming Monthly scored it a bit higher than the 16-bit original, which averaged a 7.75. But it's clear that not everybody agreed that this was the superior game. Dan notes that Pilot Wing 64 does a good job of giving you the sensation of flight, but for me, it didn't have the same magic the original had. Don't get me wrong, the graphics were tremendous and the smoothness of flight was unparalleled. All I see here, however, is a visually updated version of the old Pilot Wings. That's great, but I already played this a while ago on the Super NES. Crispin liked it more than Dan, but still had a small gripe. I loved Pilot Wing 64 95% of the time, but for that other 5%, I swore at it and tossed my controller down in frustration. This game gets difficult in the later stages. He would go on to explain that Pilot Wing 64 is every bit as fun as the Super NES original only with graphics that are above and beyond anything the other next generation consoles can pump out. This seemed to be the general consensus at Electronic Gaming Monthly, with most recommending it as a solid second choice to Super Mario. And it wasn't just EGM, because you also saw Nintendo Power give Pilot Wing 64 a 4 out of 5. And even GamePro, who gave the original a perfect score, gave the sequel a 4.5 out of 5. And then there's computer and video games, which initially gave the game a 5 out of 5 in issue 178, only to later revise their score down to a 4 out of 5 in issue 184 when Pilot Wing 64 finally launched in the UK. Paul Davies explained that I love the high speed thrills of Rage Racer on the PlayStation, but I'm equally awestruck by many of the situations in Pilot Wing 64. The sheer scale of the mountains, snow-covered or shrouded in mist, create an awesome atmosphere as your little craft struggles against the powerful winds to clear the round. Sometimes the visuals look close to photorealistic. Not the kind of thing that keeps you glued to the N64 for hours on end, but a very special kind of experience when it's up and running. For what it's worth, you actually did see magazines raving about this game. In their first issue, 64 Extreme gave Pilot Wing 64 a 90%. You also saw the editors of Die Hard Game Fan gush over the graphics and the gameplay, giving it an average score of 95%. And then there's Next Generation, who ended up giving the game a perfect 5 out of 5 in the very same issue when they crowned Super Mario 64 the greatest video game of all time. Pilot Wing 64 is classic Nintendo. A simple, addictive game embellished with extraordinary detail and graphic finesse. This is easily the most impressive 3D ever seen on a console, and it's been pressed into the service of a totally charming, diverse, and enjoyable game. 
It may be that there are no other video game developers in the world that could visualize and execute a game like this. Sega, Sony, you can start worrying now. With no negative reviews and mostly high praise, I think it's safe to call Pilot Wing 64 a hit with the critics. Maybe not the award-winning powerhouse of Super Mario 64, but come on, let's be honest here, that's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of game. Go ahead and give Pilot Wing 64 a download on the Switch and see if it still holds up. Hey, thanks for watching me analyze these classic reviews. If you're into this kind of thing, then you'll be happy to know that we post new episodes whenever Nintendo adds retro games to their online service. We also have a similar series that looks at the PS Plus. Go ahead and check out those playlists of all of the review crew shows. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite airplane game? Look, it doesn't have to be something like Pilot Wings, because there are plenty of games where you either pilot a plane or at least ride on one. Hell, you could probably make the argument that Street Fighter 2 is an airplane game, since you spend more time in the air traveling around the world and punching people. Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with a review of that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles compilation. And hey, look out for Die Hard Game Fan's first annual Golden Meg Awards. Yeah, you're definitely not going to want to miss that. While you patiently wait for it, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.